Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber and uh, I wanted to make this video because I thought I should have made this video. I had the idea earlier today and I wanted to make a video. I didn't know when exactly I was going to make the video, but I wanted to, so I decided today. I'm actually using a selfie stick, so that's why if you see any kind of moving around, because I'm actually walking because standing up kind of really sucks, especially I, I, when I have arthritis and, and my spine, and my spine does like a bent thing, so it, it kind of really sucks. So I wanted to make this video simply because a lot, many of you may be wondering if you ever have, if you own a PC and you're looking behind to your PC where your plug goes in to, for, to supply power, you'll notice that on your power supply, you'll notice it is, it is a orange or sometimes red. It can vary because I've seen, I've seen some power supplies that has red, it's very rare, but uh, most of them are orange. And you'll see an orange switch that can be, that can be turned on it and can be turned down or upwards in position. And it has numbers such as 1110 and 220. This is this is very common in a lot of PSUs and power supplies that a lot of people don't know what these button does, making them having to Google search or simply getting no answer while that, while they search at all. So I did my research and I figured out what this button does, and it's between life or death. So yeah. So let's let's get, let's get on with the video this video isn't going to be that very hopefully not very long i i don't intend it to be that very long i'm pretty much making this video simply to help you understand what the switch does because many of people may not know what it does and when they do switch it that it, it does end up with repercussions and you don't want that happening so i'm going to explain that to you and what that button that switch does right about now so this switch is designed to switch voltages of your PSU. And if you don't know what PSU is, power supply unit in abbreviation. Um, and what this does is basically um, switches, to, so if you want to have 110 volts, you would put it on 110 volts. If you have it, on, if you want to put it on 220 volts, you would have to put it on 220 volts. However, this switch is very dangerous because if you live in the US, you should always have it set to 110. Don't switch it to 220. The reason for this is simply because if you do end up moving or taking your PC to a third party country that so has 220 volts, you will need to change that switch to from 110 volts to 220. So far, the only answer that I have gotten online is if you're in, if you go to EU and Europe and you need power and you end up wondering why your PC is not turning on. That is the reason because of that issue. If your PC is working fine, there's nothing issues, there is no need to switch that switch. Um, there, need, there's no need to change the voltages because if your system's working as normal, there's no reason for you to change it or switch it to the right voltages. What happens if, but what? What happens if you change that switch to 220 volts even while you're in the US? Well, this is one more one I said earlier that switching that switch can end up with repercussions. Same thing could also apply to EU. So if you're in the US and you change it to 2020, you can end up with the following problems. One, it can fry your motherboard because your motherboard is not, since your motherboard is in the US and you're in the US, your power supply needs to be at 110. If you put it on 220 volts and, and you set it to your PSU to 220 volts, what will happen is that it will give it too much power because the power in the United States is not very much regulated as it is in Europe. So Europe and the US has two different regulate, regulated power, um, how they distribute power to devices. And this is how everything is calculated because unlike us, we have, don't, I don't know if we have efficient power, but we put out, I put less power than we do in the EU, which EU provides more power. And that's why the 220 volts is there. If you, if you do end up switching, um, from 110 volts to 220 volts using that switch, um, while you're in the U S not only that your device can fry your device will be, will be gone forever. It wouldn't, doesn't matter whether if your house supplies more than 110 volts, it doesn't matter whether if you're in the Europe and you want to switch to, to the US power output, your device can fry 
And even if it doesn't fry and it magically survives, you would have to replace your entire PSU or power um, power supply unit because it's it also fries with the motherboard. Because if you introduce a US power to a 220 volt uh, um, power supply that we accidentally switched to, the power supply doesn't cannot regulate the power that's coming in from the outlets because that's too much power. It's too much power because as you said, as I said, it can fry your, your motherboard. It can do a lot of bad things. So you can only use this switch when you're in a different country that is not US standard one, 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 zero voltage. I hope that you guys all learned something today. I have actually learned something today and I wanted to make this video simply because I needed to. I didn't need to, but I wanted to to inform you. So if you are very curious of what that orange button does, then pretty much that what this is what it does. Um, if you have any questions regarding this button, um, let me know. And if you have any questions about your PC or anything like that, if you're having an issue, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be gladly to help you as best my as best as I can, and as your others can also help you if I'm not available to reply to your comment. Other than that, stay safe. Don't touch that button unless you're going to Irub, and make sure you do your research on your power supply because, as I said, some power supplies may have higher frequencies, and you may need to check. But by default, in the U.S., it is at one one zero on the switch so it should say like that if your system doesn't turn on while you're in a different country but your your system and, and power supply unit came from directly from the us and it's not turning on because you need to switch that switch um so be careful um do your research on your system i don't know how this reacts to different systems but this is what i've read this is what i've researched and this is where i'm informing you in case you really need it so yeah, I hope you guys thought this video was very informative and you learned something today because I did. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.